This may be the dumbest thing I've ever done. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Jason, I mean, I love you and everything, but... <sighs> you need counseling. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK here. Uh, if you don't see another video from me after this one, well, you'll know why. We're going to take several radios today. We're going to show them to the wife and we're going to see what she thinks a ham radio costs. All right, so the first radio we're going to take a look at is the Yaesu 817 radio. Now, this is a radio. You go ahead and hold on to that. Okay. This is a radio that does all the things. So it will do local comms. It things. will do long distance comms, uh, UHF, VHF, HF, all the things. Perfect. However, all the things. it's a low power radio. So okay. it will only put out five little bitty watts. Oh, uh, okay. So, so I'm taking it that's not good. Yeah, it eh. depends. Okay. So, what do you think? Now, this is a discontinued model, so you can't buy them anymore. Okay. What do you think a radio like that would cost? I have no clue. Um, I don't know. $100? dollars <laughs> $200? $150. Okay, so Ding, just... Ding, final answer. Just to give you a idea... This radio in Huntsville, remember it's discontinued. It oh sold, yeah, it's discontinued. It sold so, at, it sold at a at a used table for six hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> for sale. <laughs> for sale. I told you guys I might be in trouble. All right. So that's the first one. Wow. Now, Let's I hope that's not the least expensive one, that's for certain. So, let's take a look at another radio. Now, this one doesn't have its own battery inside. This is that the... That looks like a little army man radio. This is the FX4CR. Even though it's smaller, this radio will put out 20 watts. Now, it won't do all the things. So, um. it won't do really local communications. This one is HF, so think long distance. So, I can talk to the other side of the state. I could use this and talk to the other side of the world. It has pretty colors. All right, so it does have a color screen. I like all the colors on it. 20 watts. Now, go ahead and guess what's the value of that radio. Um, this is so hard for me because oh. I just don't have a, you know, I don't know this stuff. Um, so this one won't do all the, okay, $100. <laughs> $100. <laughs> $150. This one was $550. That's just dumb. <laughs> I don't know. How long have you had that? I think I bought this one last year. Maybe the year before. The 817's probably three years old. All right, let's move up a little bit. Okay, now, now this one is definitely worth more than $100. Okay. It's big. Now, wait a minute. Don't let the metal case confuse you with this radio. This oh, okay. was an add-on. So the radio is inside right here, and it's a little bit larger than the 817. Okay. Okay. This is the 817's big brother, 857. Again, it's a discontinued radio. Okay. All right, but it will do all the things. Why are there discontinued radios? I just have several discontinued radios. Okay. Okay. This one puts out 100 watts, so much more powerful than this one that only put out 5 watts. Okay. So go ahead. Wait, you said this one was, remind me, five? This, this was, this sold 600. at Huntsville for $600. Okay. So and this one again? Was $550. Five. That's the, yep, the FX4CR was $550. Okay. So now remember, 5 watt, 20 watt, this is now a 100 watt radio on HF. Plus, it does the local stuff as well. Okay. Give me a guess on this one. Five hundred. You're getting better with this. Yay! <laughs> Although I don't like the final answer, <laughs> I can tell you that right now. These are I don't like you that. can you can only buy these used. Uh, they'll go from anywhere from five hundred to seven hundred and fifty dollars used at the ham fest. Jeez. I, this was one of my first radios. Why are these th You have not told me that these were <laughs> this is, I, Where are the little ones? Now, wait a the minute. The little ones. Wait, wait a minute. 
This was my first radio. We need Sellies. I bought it used. I paid $450. So this one is actually appreciated in value. Well, just you're a getting bit. better. <laughs> Maybe that's the way we should put it. You're getting better. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at this radio. Now, I do want to cut this one on for you so you can see the display. You go ahead and hold on to that. Okay. This is an icon. Icon. This one will do. Now I've heard that name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've definitely heard I've that heard name I've heard you say here. that a lot. All right, so this one does all the things, but it's low power. And it's got a bit, oh, it's it, low it, power. It so a, power's a thing. It does have, well, it, it's just important to know when you're buying a radio. Okay. This one will do five watts on the internal battery. If you hook it up to an external battery, it'll actually do 10 watts. Okay. It'll do local comms. It'll do long distance comms. It'll do all the things. Okay. It'll okay. Do all the things. Oh, it's kind of heavy yeah. too. Now again, I've added the cage on here. Okay. okay to protect what? the radio. Oh, it just protects them. Yep. It protects the radio. So they don't come with these. No. The so cage you have to buy those too? We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> so. We might not need to. <laughs> we might not be talking biscuits in the morning. All right, so what do you think that radio cost? Oh, good grief. Well, the, the display is bigger, and it's got colors. I do like that. You know, I'm not, I'm not a numbers person. If this had a pretty poem on it, it'd be more <laughs> valuable to me. Uh, I'm going to just stick with my 500 Well, no, I, $600. That's I guess. about... That's about a $1,300 radio right now. Yes. About, that's about a $1,300 radio right now. You can go How buy long have you had this, Jason? <laughs> I've had that one for several years now. <laughs> All right. You ask about the cage. Wait a minute. Thir do you? Yeah, yeah. Let's don't do the math right now. Um, you ask about the cage. <sighs> How much do you think the cage I don't even want to guess, that radio honey. costs? I don't want to guess, honey. <laughs> Just tell me. It's getting rough. 150 bucks for the cage. Why? It's insurance. We've got to protect our investment in the radio. Mm. So you need to put a cage on it to ensure that I... if you dropped it, you've only damaged the cage, not the radio. Well... I have to give you that because if I paid that much money for this thing that looks a lot like the battery in my car, I would probably want one of these to go around it. I, you know, I, I can't really knock you too much for that, but All whatever. Right. So those are some of the wow. larger radios. Let's take a look at some of the handhelds. Are these next. the ones that are up there on your on your desk? Yes. Okay. And sprinkled around. We've got more yeah. in the car. In the you truck. Want, you want to take a look at the one in my Jeep and the one in the truck as well? I don't know. <laughs> so these are all for one man. This, this is what's going through my mind. These are all for one man. Yes. These are, these are all. You the, can use one of these at a time. But they do different things. Some of them have more capabilities. Some of them have less capabilities. Some of them are waterproof. Some of them aren't. Don't so. ever, don't ever say anything about how much money I spend on a bag, on shoes, on my art supplies. All right. So first of all, mm. first, mm. first of all, let's uh, let's tell them what we've got here. We've got the Redivus RA89 laying in front of you. Now hold on, hold on a second. Okay. We've got the Yezu VX6. We've got the Yezu FT5. Okay. And we've got a Kenwood D75. Now, just for grins and giggles here. I did not know. I just can't get over it. I, I'm sorry for... I just did not know you had this many. <laughs> One, two, three, four, yeah, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. In the truck, in the Jeep, upstairs. All right. <laughs> they sneak it in, girls. That's what happens. They sneak them in one at a time. And before you know it, it's it's like this. It's like chickens. They, they do multiply mm -hmm. occasionally. All right. So with the radios laid on the table, what's the most expensive radio? I'm going to go with this one because it just looks the best. Okay. All right. So she's picked the Kenwood D75. So let's talk about some of these radios. All of these do pretty much... 
uh, the same output. So they're all a five watt radio. These are all for local communications. Okay. Okay. So we're not going to talk across the world with Is this these. the one that you, no, this is not the one that we use when we're backing up the camper. No, and no, stuff. no. That's a different style of radio because okay. you don't have a ham license, but we're using GMRS radios. So I hear that cranking. <laughs> You right. don't have a hand so, radio on. This one is the Redivus RA89. Redivus. Just take a look at it and see what you think that radio okay. costs. That one is waterproof. It does UHF, it does VHF, it puts out five watts. So. And you'd have it clipped. Yep. Any idea what you would pay for that radio? Um, looks like you could call someone on it. I'm going to say, can I go with a range? Give, give me your okay, I'm going to say one. this is probably between one, 100 and 200. Okay. It's just a, All right. I have no idea. That's about a $59 radio. Okay, here's my guy. <laughs> here's my guy right here. Okay. Let's move up the line a little bit. Finally, and something. In let's take a look at the Yezu. FT5. Now, grab this one. We've got a color oh, screen on it. That one doesn't weigh as much. We've got a color screen on that one. Okay. And it will do APRS, which remember, APRS is how we can see other operators on the oh, APRS yeah. map. I we did can, like that. I, we, that we was can, pretty cool. We can see them pop up uh, on our radio. Yeah. So this one does that quite a bit cool. more. What do you think the cost of this one is? Is this the one that does the stuff that your friend don't like. Oh, you're talking about K8MRD. It, yeah. Mike. <laughs> yep, <Okay>. Mike. <laughs> I like Mike. He's funny. He is he's, funny. He's just wrong about APRS, guys. Oh, sorry, Mike. All right. No, I like you, Mike. All right. I do, I do. So what do you think this radio cost? So this one was between 50 and 100. Not that good with numbers. Uh... I'm going to say this one is a hundred. Yeah. Um, don't sell my radios, please, without consulting somebody else. <laughs> okay. That's about a $500 radio. Bad. And they were a little bit more Bad. than that when they first came out. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. I'm, All right. I'm, running, I'm running out of thoughts. All right. So this is the Yezu VX6. Great little radio. Cut that one off so it'll quit beeping. Great little radio here. Submersible. It says Murfreesboro on it. It will not do APRS, but it is a tri-band radio. So it just gives you a few more, it gives you an extra band over the first two that we've looked at. Okay, so, you know, I kind of see the pattern here. I don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> That's the D75. Let's let's focus on the VX6 first. Uh, five hundred dollars. Okay, so that one is only about a two hundred and fifty dollars. This radio. makes no sense. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Tap. I'm out. No color screen. Doesn't do APRS. This is an older radio. It's a fantastic radio, but it's an older one, so it's not quite as much. Well, that's good to know. All right. Thank now. you, Yay Sue. <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's talk about... This one's going to be expensive. And I will... One reason why I know it is is because it says Kenwood. And I know that that's expensive because my brother has been a ham radio operator for as long as I can remember since I was like that. And... I remember him talking about it not being, All right. you know, inexpensive. So, so this one, color screen, so, tri-band so. radio, still puts out five watts, just like all the others. It will do the APRS thing. Okay. okay. Give me a guess on this so, radio. Oh my goodness. I'm going to say $800. You're close. Seven fifty. <laughs> I got one. So, I don't want one, but I got one. 
Think about what I could buy with that, Jason. Did you have any idea? Go away. How much the radios, how much I'd invested in radios? You know, honey, I knew it was a lot. But I really was just trying not to think about it. <laughs> but now that you've just smeared it all over me, we're going to need to go look at some diamonds because this is not working out. All right, guys, I hope you found today's video entertaining. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take her to dinner and a movie and try to get myself out of the doghouse. It's going to be a minute. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3. This is crazy, Jay.